Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Vibe Nation. Today we're here to watch another video. Today we're here to watch another CJ the Champ funny TikToks. Um, I really just like, I love reacting to this guy's stuff. He, his stuff is really funny. Um, yeah, um, it's by Retro Kills. Uh, it seems like he like he's also a big fan as well. So let's go ahead and um, check this out. If you want to watch another original video, um, please go check out uh, Retro Kills. I'll leave the link down in the description down below. You know where it is. I'll also leave the one to his channel. So let's go in three, two, one, and play. Alright, so it's about damn time uh, we talk about this. Nosebleeds in anime. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's when an anime character sees their crush or they see an absolute baddie and just start spewing gallons of blood out of their fucking nose. And yo, I'm out here thinking right, trying to have a whole ass brain blast, and I'm like, yo, how is your ass not dead? D-E-A-D, -E dead. He needs some milk. He's got a point. Like, they be, be like, shooting out, like gallons of like blood like that is like the amount of blood that you're you're shooting out sir is enough to make out your entire body i mean how are you not dead it makes no sense but and at some point it does kind of get a, like i don't know to me it kind of got like annoying after a while it's like dude it can't be that sick. it's not that deep like she yeah she's bad but really like <laughs> you're gonna lose your life before you even get a chance to talk to her. Like, come on. Oh my god. He on Well, like, for real, though, how the fuck are you not dead after losing all that goddamn blood? I think the only character that actually came close to dying from a nosebleed was, like, Sanji. Especially after this moment right here. Like, dear God, the king of the simps. These characters be losing more blood than you get in a damn ketchup package. And if you want proof, I got you. All right, so my black ass just pulled into the Zach. Let's see how much ketchup I get out this damn package. All right, so we got the packet. Let's see how much we get out. Jack shit. Bruh. Right, so we gotta talk about the Naruto run. Now this is obviously the most famous run from anime. I mean, let's be honest, we all knew that one kid that yep. would Naruto run in the hallway. Yeah. Oh, Zazuke. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck are they doing? Gee, girl, I don't know. Gee, we even had some motherfuckers out here running in Area 51 doing this shit. <laughs> all right, this is Joe out here reporting for ABC 13. The weather's looking all nice and shit. So it's a great hey, day to hey, walk out. Yeah. What you mean, the fuck was that? I'm not even gonna lie though, this yo. run looks uncomfortable as hell. Yo, I'm telling you, yo, when I saw that, I died. It was so good. <laughs> this dude set that moment up just so he could not run on all, on all, all, on live. Just beautiful. I I I applaud you, sir. Yeah, it was great. Like you gotta tilt your whole damn body 90 degrees and pop your damn arms out of your damn socket to put them back that far. So shouts out to them on that flexibility. Hey, but Loki though, why do I think that Sonic started this shit? I mean, technically he was the OG of this shit. But anyways, I put on my thinking cap and I was yep. like, you know what? Let me try this run out for myself. All right, CJ the champ is in his stance. And he is off. He is off to the races. Oh, shit. He is out cold, bro. Right, so as you know, we're all on anime TikTok, and if you saw my last video, I ventured into the depths of hell that is known as straight TikTok. Yeah, yeah. But today, we gotta go even further beyond. We're going to bedrock. We are going to motherfucking rock bottom. We are going to be exploring deep TikTok. So, uh, without further ado, what, let's get started. What is this? Later. Damn, bro, what's up with this dark-ass room? Welcome to Deep TikTok, motherfucker. My name's Archibald. I'll be your tour guide for Archibald. the day. Shit, Bye, Archibald. Okay. All right, here your first one. Hi, guys. Oh, sad. But, yo, the fuck was that? Motherfucker, we just getting started. Look at this shit. Nah, bro, I gotta go. Nah, motherfucker, you here for life. You ain't going nowhere. Strap in, bitch. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> what? Bro. Nah, bro. I know, man. This is like... Nah. Some weird stuff when you go when you go too deep you'll never be able to get back out bro 
All right, so we got to talk about harem anime. Harem anime oh. is literally the holy grail for horny ass kids who want to see anime bosoms. I don't know, man. Like, harem anime is just like, it annoys me, right? Maybe it's because it's just me, but I just can't stand, like, watching a romance and, like, there's just, like, you got, like, 12 girls, right? And they're obviously, like, they obviously like one guy. Either the guy's, the guy, and most of the time, the guy is dense, right? Like, he's not really trying to, like, do anything or choose one. I mean, there was one show that was like that. If anybody you guys seen the show Shuffle, and then he ended up with a green haired girl, I'd be like, okay, you know what? That's that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Um. But other than that, I I don't know. Infinite Stratos kind of ruined that for me. I couldn't stand watching that show any longer because it was like the guy's really dense, and then you got the girl that he ends up in a situation. The girl just beat him up. I'm just like, you know what? This is just getting this is just getting like retarded at this point, bro. Dang, I shouldn't have said that. Uh but you know what I mean though. Uh it's it's just getting real it got real stupid real quick. Like damn, it's basically softcore. Don't say the word, CG. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say, it. Don't say the goddamn word. Anime. But no, like for real though, harem anime is literally the definition of fan service. Like damn, every single girl in the show wants to get in the MC's pants. Hey, but why do all the main characters look bland as fuck and always look the damn same? It looks like they just copied and pasted the legend himself. Hey, but the main problem I got with harem <laughs> anime protagonists is that they never get shit done. They don't do the damn deed. And they don't choose somebody. They're either A, blind yep. as fuck, or B, they get cock blocked. Meanwhile. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir! He said about to get him some. Let's get it! <laughs> Damn! Get your ass off the screen! Shit! Hold up, chill, man. It ain't that deep. Like, yo. I mean, in the end, he does end up choosing. Uh, uh, does end up choosing um, Reyes, but, like, yo, like. Uh, high school DXD was, like, something else. Like. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, Infinite Stratos kind of ruined the hair, man. Man, there's a certain anime that just ruined a genre for me, and I'm just like, like I've seen a bunch of them, and to me, I'm just like, just pick one, just pick one, please. But you know, whatever. All right, so it's about time we go back to the subject of time in anime, and today's culprit is none other than the Tournament of Power. But specifically, we're going to be looking at what this guy did right here in the time span of 48 minutes. Now, let me say this first. If you hear this theme song right here... <laughs> You best get the skipping because your ass about to get your ass beat by some of that good ass plot armor. This man Goku really mastered the technique of the gods in under a damn hour. But hold on, we gotta remember, right? Wasn't he just getting his ass beat like 30 minutes ago? And him and Vegeta had to double team Jiren as well? Now let's fast forward 15 minutes later and this man Goku is bodying him. And don't forget he also finessed Kefla like 20 minutes ago. This man said, fuck the hyperbolic time chamber. I don't need that shit. Just give me 48 minutes and some Zenkai boost. Pretty much. Bro, did you see that new attack on Titan trailer? Wait, hold up, they dropped a new trailer? Yes, and the animation looks damn near realistic. Should I? I guess I gotta watch that shit real quick then. Yeah, watch that shit real quick. It is straight flames, bro. Attack on Titan is back. Bigger, better, and more realistic than ever. What the? <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, wait. Yo, what is this, bruh? Like, nah, nah. Oh, Lord, that shit look good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude is looking as lost as... <laughs> Dude is looking as lost as I am, bruh. Man in the squad prevail against these new terrifying foes. Find out in the final season of Attack on Titan. Oh, my God. That was fire, right? Like, god damn, that shit was live, bruh. And that new abnormal? Bruh. <laughs> that shit is straight gas. 
Hey, bro, I don't think I'm watching that shit. Wait, what? I said I ain't watching that shit, man. Damn. Yo, you know what's probably the most disrespectful moment I've ever seen in anime is when uh, this dude ran up in this classroom and slapped Ray, bruh. Hey, old girl was trying to pitch a fit, so my dude had to get on that Chris Breezy and uh, the baby type energy, you feel me, dog? So we slapped the piss out of her ass. Damn! Yo, he slapped her in front of the whole class and in front of her boyfriend. Yo, her boyfriend is a whole beta! Hey, yo, how you gonna let a whole nother dude slap your girl right in front of you? You a bitch! Bruh, you know what? Play that shit again. Stan, what the <laughs> Hey, yo, he sent her straight to the streets. You know what? It is time to summon him. All rise for our lord. She ain't got an AP. She is not mine. She belongs to the streets. Stan, what the She belongs to the streets. Stan, what the She belongs to the streets. <laughs> yeah, I'm done for the day. All hail future. I want your honest opinion. Do y'all like The Legend of Korra? Because I'm asking this question because me and my friends were having a discussion about this the other day. One of my friends loves it, one of my friends hates it, and I'm just in the middle about it, for real. You see, I can see both sides. I see why people like it because it's entertaining and it continues the story. But I can see the other side because it doesn't compare to The Last Airbender at all. It, it's not even close <laughs> at all. Like, what I like about the show, I mean, I like the fights. I mean, the fights are pretty raw. I mean, and I kind of like Zaheer as a villain. He's probably my second favorite villain in the whole series besides Azula because, I mean, she's the best villain in the whole damn series, hands down. Hey, but Zaheer learned how to fly. That was pretty dope, but anyways. But I can see why people don't like this series. I mean, the obvious point is it doesn't compare to The Last Airbender at all, and Aang is a way better avatar than Korra. I mean, the writing and the plot was kind of its weak points, and the new characters are kind of bleh. But I mean, anyways, did you like it or did you not like it? Tell me. Okay, so this is what my opinion about The Legend of Korra. Action and, you know, the fight scenes and whatnot, I, I liked it. It was good. It was entertaining. I, I enjoyed it. Like, I can't, like, listen, I'm not going to go ahead and be like, you know, I can't really say, oh, it doesn't live up to the, the, the last airbender. Because even though it's part of the story, I have to take into consideration that they're in a different time and there's just different factors at play, whatever, right? So I can't really say, judge it and be like, oh, like, it, it has to be like just as good. I would give, if I had to give it a rating out of 10, it would probably be a good, with Avatar The Last Airbender being a 10, I would give it probably a score of 7.5. But for some people, uh, I see talking, they say that some people, they didn't like it because it didn't live up to The Last Airbender, and some of the characters were just kind of like what CJ said was meh. Some people just didn't like the fact that Korra straight up just was dating the whole gang was like kind of weird because like especially what she did to Bolin was using Bolin just to get close to the other brother and I was and like when he saw them both kiss she like he like basically cried and whatnot it was like it was like some painful stuff I was like dang that's 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 uh, like what um Zuko said that's rough buddy like yeah like. I can, un like, for some people, I can understand why, but I can't really say I hate it. I can say that at most, I think that it was an okay addition to the story, but not great like its, or like its predecessor. But that's just what I'm going to say about that. You know, it's about damn time I bring this shit back. Anime characters that belong to the streets, part five. All right, uh, let's talk about old girl Kayo from Erase. Dog, she's for the goddamn streets. Mm -hmm. uh, spoilers incoming. Anyways, my dude Satoru really went back in time to save this goddamn girl from this psycho-ass teacher, right? And bro, I thought they had something going on. But the psycho-ass teacher put dude in a coma. So he wakes up 15 years later after he saved her life and all that shit. And oh my God, she just walked up in this bitch with a whole as kid and guess who the baby daddy is his homeboy that looked like a damn girl 
Who? Yes, this bland ass dude is a baby daddy. And you know what's crazy? The crazy ass teacher waited 15 years to come back and kill his ass after the coma, but yet she can't wait 15 years to get back with the dude that saved her life? Oh hell no! You should get her off of my damn skirt. 15 years. Couldn't wait 15 years to go ahead and meet with the guy that saved your life. But though the guy who the guy <laughs> that's funny. The guy who put you in the coma waited 15 years to wait for you to wake up just so he could kill you. Like he's more he's more loyal than than the, than the girl. Dang man. Oh, oh that's that's messed up. That, your life is a joke. My goodness gracious. No. Green. She belongs to the streets. Damn. <laughs> I really made a whole video on her. But anyways, I'm dropping part six on this thought. I'm waiting for that part six though. Alright, I got a question that like legit needs an answer. What the fuck happened to Midoriya's mom? Like dead ass! How the fuck did this shit happen? Please tell me how the fuck she went from looking like this to this. And for real, it's not like she even let herself go. Yo, look at this comparison picture. She actually fucking shrunk. I mean like stress. <laughs> uh, stress and aging I mean when you get older, you shrink. So I mean, I look at I mean look at my mom. But I mean, you know what my mom looks like, but I mean well if anybody gone farther into my I, I Anyway, Pat, besides the point, my the problem here is that honestly, there's no difference here. She still looks the same. She's an awesome mom to Midoriya, and she honestly doesn't look that bad. Listen, man, listen, listen. I was, I'm gonna be down bad for a minute. I'm just gonna say she's still bad though. So I'm not even gonna go ahead and lie and say that you know she what happened. Oh man, she lost her touch. She was a ten, now she a two. Nah, bro. She she was a ten, and now she's like a nine point five. Okay, that that's as much as I'm gonna say. I got I gotta be honest. Okay, so yeah. Yo, I swear she went from five nine to five four real quick. So apparently her quirk is like telekinesis or something, or basically the force, but with smaller objects. But looks like to me, I think her quirk got a goddamn side effect, a damn downgrade side effect. Yo, if she was in the world of One Piece and she had a devil fruit, her devil fruit would be called the downgrade downgrade fruit. Hey, you know who this reminds me of actually? Anka went from looking like the baddest she. Oh yeah, this no no no. See, Midora Midora's Inka was not a downgrade. Like, like Inko's, like Midoriya's mom was not even, but this, this girl right here, this was a downgrade. This was a downgrade. She know being Kodoha to, I don't know, what the fuck, man? Another reason why I hate this shit. Anyway. I was like, bro, like, what happened? No, I don't know. Why? <laughs> Y'all tell me what y'all think happened to Deku's mom because, in all honesty, I'm speechless. So, I have come to the conclusion that, uh, Big Mom <clears throat> belongs to the streets! Oh, my, my, my. You need to clear a whole highway. What, what, what? Explain. What? What? Yeah, uh, Big Mom belongs to the streets, dog. She had 85 kids. 85! But get this! She had 85 kids with 43 different husbands. Oh, hell no! A prime example <laughs> is what she did to Pound. She got the babies, and she said, all right, get the fuck out. <laughs> what? Then she kicked them to the curb, dog. She is for these streets. Yo, you know what? She ain't even for the streets. She for the whole new world! Nah, G, I'm done. She belongs to the streets. So wait a minute. She had 85 kids with 43 husbands. Well, I mean, 43 dudes. And then as soon as she got the kids, she kicked the the, the husband out. She kicked the husband to the curb. It, huh? Like, I, I don't listen. Whatever happened in that lifetime, I'm guessing that she had her reasons. I doubt it. But still, though, like, it just... I can't cons I I'm having a hard time trying to conceive an idea of why. I've never watched One Piece and honestly, I probably may never will. Because that is just a show that's been going on for so 
long. I don't even watch this. I just like the Simpsons. I don't even watch the Simpsons. I haven't watched SpongeBob like that. That show been going on for too long. Now, for me to go ahead and watch a show that has a story that's going on for a thousand episodes, bro. I, by the time I even catch up, I'll probably be in my well, almost about to hit my forties. Like, I can't, bro. I I don't know. If I don't know, somebody's gonna have to like dare me. I was like, hey, you got you got this amount of time to finish uh, to get catch up with One Piece. Y'all gotta go ahead and like offer me about like two G's before I go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna attempt it, right? She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Well, guys, that was an MC the Champ um, TikTok animation. Uh, guys, if you guys have ever seen The Legend of Korra, uh, tell me what you think. Do you think that it, um, do you think that it works? Do you think that it, it's just as good as the last, or do you think it's not? Do you know, what are the things that you didn't like about it? I'd like to know your input. So, please, um, comment down below. So, thank you guys for watching this bit Vibe Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.